The water is flat and calm, and I am way overdue for a scuba dive. So I called up my scuba buddies and said, let's go. I'm always ready to try a new dive site, and a local dive master suggested Playa India here in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. It is a short, steep walk from the road and parking area down to the beach entry for our shore dive. Since this is a new dive site for my entire group, we thoroughly reviewed our dive plan on the beach before hauling down our gear. Between the rocks, there is a shallow, sandy point. We have the beach entry and dive site all to ourselves, so let's gear up and let's go. Throughout the day and especially in the afternoons, this is a popular spot for jet skis. Make sure you are practicing safe diving and have your dive flag up the entire time. Only a couple minutes in the water and a pod of dolphins popped up over to check us out. They literally jumped out of the water a few feet from us and sadly this is the only video I captured as they quickly swam away. We immediately descended for better visibility onto the surface, but the dolphin pod was long gone. Our dive group is now on high alert and we soon encounter turtles, lionfish, feather duster worms, spotted eels, and a variety of colorful reef fish. This is a new dive site for me and I am immediately impressed by the sheer amount and size of the giant barrel sponges. This is the largest species of sponges found in the Caribbean, often referred to as the redwoods of the reef due to their reddish brown color, bark-like texture, size, and they live a really long time. Some giant barrel sponges are believed to live for over 2,000 years. Just past this parrotfish is a rock crevice, perfect for a sleeping turtle. I can't determine if it's a hawksbill or green turtle from the edge of its shell. He's hiding his head from us, but the rest of the fish are not bothered by us at all. In addition to the many, many giant barrel sponges, there's just a wide variety of sponges throughout this site. Sponges are filter feeders and they actually improve the water quality as well as provide a home to reef fish and marine life. This site has an excellent variety of vase and calm sponges in a rainbow of colors. One of the most beautiful sponges looks like lavender lace to me. It's this purple lavender lace shaped vase sponge. Uh, it's actually an azure vase sponge and they're usually this iridescent blue shape like a vase and they can be blue, gray, pink to lilac and even cream. We will encounter many more of these varieties of branching vase sponges and calm sponges on our dive. While we pose no threat to the reef fish, the same cannot be said for this lionfish. Lionfish are an invasive species that hunt over 50 varieties of reef fish, and they have no natural predators in the Caribbean. They corner their prey and strike with the venomous fin spines. Never touch or attempt to touch a lionfish. From certain angles, lionfish fins can resemble harmless feather duster worms. Feather duster worms, Christmas tree worms, and fan worms are completely harmless to us. And if you put your finger near them, they will close. Detecting nearby movement is enough for these worms to quickly close and pull back. Some of these worms close at the slightest detection of movement, while others have a slower response time and are more tolerant to movement. Either way, I'm not actually touching them. I don't touch anything in the water because you never know who's hiding nearby, like this sneaky spotted eel.
Not every spotted eel is as good as hiding, but this one isn't trying too hard to avoid me. Another spotted beauty is this lovely boxfish. Our dive group has just turned around at the halfway point of our dive when this turtle appeared. We swam close enough that we can easily identify him as a hawksbill turtle based on his shell pattern and that distinctive hooked beak on his face. Hawksbill sea turtles are one of the smallest species of sea turtles, and they are critically endangered. It is believed there are less than 8,000 hawksbill sea turtles in existence. Sharks and octopus are their natural predators, but humans have played a huge role in their destruction. I'm absolutely mesmerized by the grace and beauty of this hawksbill sea turtle. At this point, I realize that my dive group can no longer see me. So I say goodbye to my new turtle friend and I rejoin my dive group. These sandy rivers between rocks are a popular spot for sharks and rays. Unfortunately, none today, but I always check. As we swim back to our entry point, there is a flurry of beautiful reef fish shimmering in the water ahead. There are several more lionfish on the return. A couple of them are very good at hiding. If you want to go lionfish hunting, make sure you bring a spear, gloves, and a special containment unit. I'm assured by many friends that lionfish are actually delicious to eat and worth the hassle hunting, as long as you take the appropriate safety precautions when handling the venomous fins. A master at hiding is this peacock flounder. The small blue circles resemble a poisonous octopus, which helps to scare away predators. But he's a harmless, flat fish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Jen There, Done That in Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, and beyond.